Okay, focus on your breath in and of itself. When the Buddha says, in and of itself, he means not in the context of the world. Of course, we're so used to taking our experiences and turning them into states of becoming, where we have an identity and we're in a world. And everything takes on its meaning in the context of that world. And usually for the world outside, the breath doesn't have much meaning, aside from the fact that it keeps us alive. And so you don't pay as much attention to it as we should. If you look at it on its own terms, just the breath in and of itself, you begin to see it has a lot of potentials. You can breathe in ways that are energizing, you can breathe in ways that are going to deplete your energy. You can breathe in ways that give rise to a sense of fullness, a sense of ease. You can breathe in ways that give rise to constriction. And then the feelings you create in the body are going to have an impact on the mind. So here's a potential for good or for bad. If you don't pay much attention to it, as the Buddha said, if you engage in the breathing and ignorance, it's going to lead to suffering. But if you engage it with knowledge, it becomes part of the path. So here's your choice. If you look at it in terms of the world, it's not much. <clears throat> Everybody breathes and there's not much to say, in, out, in, out. But if you look at it in its own terms, you realize that it's the energy that keeps the body and the mind together. And the quality of the energy is going to have an impact on how you experience the body and how you experience your mind. So look at it on its own terms, before it turns into a state of becoming, before it gets involved in worlds of any kind. And see what you can do with it. After all, we all want happiness. And here's a source of happiness that's really close by, and John Fuang would call it the, the grass at the cattle gate. The cattle are in the pen. The owner opens the gate and the cows go running out to the meadow to get the grass. And there's grass right there at the post by the gate, but nobody eats it. But it is right nearby. And if you give it some attention, it can do a lot for you. So try to look at it on its own terms. Don't let the news of the world dominate your mind. Be more interested in the news of what's going on inside your mind, inside your body, how they fit together, and how they can provide a good foundation. So what you do and say and think will be more skillful, because you're coming from a place of well-being. <clears throat>